Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews. And today we'll be reviewing a beach product because I went back to the beach again, brought a few products down to test. This one's my new favorite. This is the Beach Shade Canopy. It comes in this nice, sleek package. Extremely lightweight, the entire thing is. Nice shoulder strap, little cinch cord on the top. UPF 30 uh, rated and 140 square feet of shade for up to six people in this little package that you can put in a suitcase if you needed to, which will not take up that valuable space in your automobile, or maybe even a trip via a plane. Oh, this beautiful beach shade right here is four pounds. That is super light whenever you're having to carry the world out there with you. Mr. Mule or Mrs. Mule, you know what I'm talking about, going out to the beach with some kids and stuff. You're carrying everything out there. Reduce your weight down to this, get 140 square feet of shade. Very impressive. This unit is extremely impressive. It is my favorite item for the beach now. It is so impressive how big this thing is. It is huge. And what I did was seven feet, seven steps, excuse me, across, which I'm assuming is about 14 feet or so, something like that, but just seven walks and strides apart are these poles. Now these poles anchor in, you know, you've seen these before, the Tommy Bahamas that have the auger built in. What happens when those breaks? Well, you go get the plastic ones that you fit the umbrella down in. These, this system here comes with two of those augers, plastic augers with the T-handles, but they're made for this uh, tent pole type stuff to go down into, and then they all chain together with elastic cord in between. You drape the fabric on over this, the canopy, and then you walk out that space, you know, and do the other auger, and then you stick one end in, bend it up, stick the other end in, other one in, and you're done. There's no cord, there's no anything. If you do have to change direction, all you have to do is pick up one side, pull it out of the auger, pull the auger out of the sand, and walk with it until it goes completely out and doesn't go to one side or the other. It, you get a good solid shade again, Og that one down, stick it in. You can do it by yourself. I've done this completely by myself and at the end of this video will be an absolutely unedited video of me putting this together. And everyone loved it. It's amazing how because of this half of a dome, it doesn't take at nowhere near as much wind to keep that thing up. I don't think we ever had a problem that I can recall with this thing falling down. Now, Mr. Smart Brains me was sitting there going, well, if it did fall, wouldn't you, couldn't you adapt an anchor system to this? Well, the minute you pull on the corner, the back corner of this thing that's flailing around, you get resistance, boom, instant. So no, you cannot anchor this down. You have to have the wind pass through this half cylinder dome and keeps it lifted, slightest wind does that, and that works best. There's no resistance. You can put your hand up on the pole and push it, even in the strongest of winds that we encountered while we were there, absolutely no resistance. The minute you grab the back corner, you get resistance and you may break those poles. So don't go thinking that you can anchor this down or create some system or have somebody come up and grab the back corner of this thing while it's in the air, because that acts as a parachute with that wind and you might snap the poles. So don't do that. But outside of all that stuff, everyone loved it. The kids stayed under this. It's up high enough to where you can see around you like it's not even there. And the only thing you have to deal with is two little skinny poles and you can move around. It's up high enough that it's not intrusive at all to your beach stay for the day, which is fantastic. And I highly recommend that you go get this thing. I don't have anything bad to say about it, which is great whenever you feed the fabric through. One end you'll stop on, it's sewn together, the other one's not. I wouldn't worry with folding that end down, trying to keep a tight uh, canopy because you might wear a hole in the other side. So make sure that you're aware of that. I just ended up uh, not worrying about tucking one side of that fabric down underneath that pole for it to sit on top of because I just didn't want to create a tear or seam or something like that. And it did just fine. That's the only thing advice I'll tell you and don't grab the thing while it's going because you might break the pulse. Other than that, it's a fantastic beach product. This is going with us every single time from now on uh, as a primary. And if we have extra people down there, we'll add 
some other canopy stuff that we have, but this one by far is so light, takes up no room. The case on this thing is well done. I don't see any bad sewing or anything. I mean, it's just four pounds, but uh, I think this whole system is cheaper than the competition that makes this version, this type. Um, you'll notice on the edges that it does sag down a little bit. I wondered if that had to do something with drag or lift or anything like that. I reached out to them. No, it just looks good. It's completely aesthetic. So there, if you're wondering why that exists, that's why it just looks good. So make sure to check this out in the YouTube description. The link will be down there. This is an awesome beach product. When you go back, carry this with you and your life will be so much easier and everyone around you will be happy because they got shade. So make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that notice so you get notified of the next product review I got coming out. See ya. Yeah.